makes it work. So you see over there that 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 knot off log and this fellow fell over there. You can see a, another beaver's going to town on this little little Pinus sachensis over here. You see it, not, those gnaw marks, mm -hmm. everybody. Mm -hmm. So what do beavers eat? What wood? Not what part of the wood? Bark. Yes. So why do the beavers <laughs> drop the logs in the stream? So, so they can they eat can... the rest of the bark. Yes. Up higher. It, it wets. They eat a lot of the bark, alder bark, and by put, putting bark. putting the bark in the water, it actually helps free that bark a little bit more from the from the outside of the tree. Uh, so that's you know really what they're doing is creating their own buffet, and they also eat a lot of the vegetation, some of the plants that grow right up here on the bank. And what do you, who here knows what a water table is? There's a little beaver palm marks right there. Palm marks. Am I right? Or am I wrong? Maybe. It looks like it. So the uh, the water table guys is how much water actually is in the landscape that was underground. We can't see right now. So. What the beaver does is the beaver actually raises the water table by putting in these dams. So they're pushing the water back up in here. Now this is also why a lot of people don't like beavers is because on their own property they might have a soggy area that they want to farm in or they want to have their cattle run through and the beavers just aren't helping with that. However, what do you think the beavers are helping with? Turbidity, good. That's a oh, nice. So the beaver pond here, it's settling. It's allowing a lot of the sediment to settle out. So as you look in, while there is you know some algal growth and whatnot, it's actually quite clear. And what's actually happening is that as that sediment falls out, a lot of the nutrients fall out, and then there's a lot of macroinvertebrates that also live in here because of that. And what do you guys think is ha the water temperature is like here? This is kind of a tricky one. I think it'd be warmer because it's not moving. Now, what do you? What that may be at the top, but what do you think the water's like at the bottom? At the bottom. Cold. Yeah. So the the unique thing about beavers and that makes them so good for water quality is that if you look over there at the edge of the dam, you'll actually see the water trickling off in this in a shallow, just the top surface water. So that warmer water that is at the surface is actually getting moved off because the the dam is just high enough to allow that, that layer of water to move shed. And then the colder water stays on the bottom. So it actually helps maintain colder water even though it's it's a settled pond. Now, if this was a dike or some a pond like we might have made, it might not be functioning like that. But the beaver are so good at what they do, they just do, do it without regard. So um, I've got a couple probes ready to go here.